All right. Woo. So uh, this is just a little video, literally, uh, just me kind of talking. I feel like at any moment I could go crazy. I don't know what exactly it is that makes me feel that way, except for the overwhelming feeling of, um, I don't know, out of controlness is the right word because I feel like I, I have a grasp. I just feel that there's this overwhelming force that wants to just explode out of me. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but dang does it want to come out. I don't know how to get it out. I mean, I, I, these are things I can think of. Run. Exercise. Speak loudly. Passionately. Dance. Be creative. Those are some ways I often pray to the Lord for comfort. I... Yeah. But I don't know if you guys feel this way. I don't know if I'm the only one. Yeah. At any moment, I could find myself in a loony bin. Based on just the overwhelming nature, maybe maybe life is hard. Life is cruel. Maybe I am not chemically correct in my body. Maybe the way God created me is too weak or too compassionate or too loving and therefore when I sense not love it hurts really badly. I know that there are things I could do to maintain this feeling inside, doing drugs and um, drink, kind of subdue it, but I don't, I know for me that's not what's, that's not going to fix it for me. And I know even morally, I just, I don't, it, it, those things don't br bring me as much pleasure as, as maybe another person it would bring. I, I guess I just get, I guess I can just use this as an opportunity to encourage. I have been in good places and bad places in my life. I've been high. I've been low. I've been sad. I've been happy. I have felt accomplished. I have felt like a failure. I have been homeless. I've had many blessings. I've been taken care of. I have been honored by God. But ultimately, I'm still not happy. I'm still not content. I'm still not happy. And I think the way to make a person happy is routine and spirituality and a sense of purpose and doing things and busyness and I've done all of that but I still find in the end that all I am is continuously filling up a gap that never ever fills and you know you, you hear pastors and preachers and, and people that, that love God say well you gotta fill it with God yeah I, I actually believe that but I don't think that actually happens I don't think that you fill, fill up into those holes and magically it's gone. Just like in the movement today where people are like, well, these people are healed. They were healed. And then a week later, they're not healed. Right? Okay, so well, all these healings are happening. People are talking about it and they're being positive because if they, for once they admit that it's not happening and that God is not allowing it, then somehow it wrecks their world of, uh, of these things. Let's, let's get real here. You will never, ever have that hole filled up. It'll be a life searching for filling that hole. 
God will fill that hole. But you will always have holes to fill. You will always have holes to fill. Yeah, it sounds like a hopeless med medication or a hopeless message. But the fact is, is it's just going to be that way. It's the way that it's going to be. But one day, what we have to look forward to, one day, is that when we get to heaven and the gates open and we walk in, that that will be gone and the relief will be great. That's the hope. That we will be relieved of it all. So we look to God for comfort as we are aliens in a place that we can't really call home. Because our home is in another place. And we just sit here and hope and thank God that one day that he'll wipe away all the tears and suffering and sorrow and he'll make all things new and happiness will creep over you like warm water on a cold day like a warm coffee on a cold day like a cool breeze on a hot day and you will sink to your knees you will cry happy tears and you will lay down and you will take a nap and never worry about an alarm clock going off because you are in eternity. And the greatest thing I ever heard my someone tell me, my brother he had a dream and in the dream he said, I'm going to take a nap and he laid down underneath this tree in the grass and I think he said, I'm going to take a nap for a million years and he meant it in the dream because he knew he was in heaven. And I say, Amen. When I get to heaven, I will join you, Micah. I will lay down on that grass and I will nap and never ever wake up until a million years. Amen. Anyways, seemed like a depressing word, but I had to get it off my chest because I don't I don't think that the gap will ever be filled, but I do believe that God can come in and soothe the wound and love us through the hard time that we have now that we have a place like Earth. Anyways, peace. I don't know if I'm going to post this. Probably, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I hope in some way that it gave you hope for a greater future. I love you guys. And uh, I know you can't see it, but I have tears down my eyes. Well... Anyways.